Welcome to Credit Matters. I am Larry Whitty, Senior Director with S&P Global Fixed Income Research. S&P Global ratings maintain 3,562 U.S. public finance ratings in California as of August 28, 2016. 73% of which are in local and state governments, categorized as tax-secured or appropriation-backed. Of all the ratings, 92% are in the A category or higher, and 44% are in the AA category or higher. Just 3% of California ratings are AAA, including 66 tax-secured ratings, 32 ut utility, 5 housing, 4 higher education, and 1 appropriation. The housing appropriation and tax-secured categories represent 497 of the 546 AA plus ratings in the state. There are 61 speculative grade ratings in the state, 2% of all ratings. 21 are appropriation, 14 are tax secured, 13 are charter schools, and the other 13 are in housing, transportation, and healthcare. California's ratio of upgrades to downgrades from January 1st, 2015 to June 30th, 2016 was 6.45 to 1 much higher than that for U.S. public finance as a whole, at 1.79 to 1. Only six states and Guam had higher upgrade to downgrade ratios over the same 18 months, but they combined for just 94 upgrades compared to California's 484. Compared to states that, that we have surveyed, only Florida ratings are more likely to have been changed in the 18 months from January the 1st, 2015 to June 30th, 2016, but California's ratings were upgraded more frequently than the other states. The most common reason for rating actions in 2015 and through June 30th, 2016 was financial, with actions over, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly positive, 234 upgrades and 42 downgrades. California records more economic upgrades than any state, 73 since January the 1st, 2015, compared to just two downgrades. California's 83 upgrades attributed to real estate surpassed that of the rest of the country, and it leads among other categories of upgrades. The positive trends in California have been widespread. Since 2015, all sectors within California have experienced more upgrades than downgrades. Local government led upgrades with 283 compared to 42 downgrades. Utilities had 53 upgrades and 19 downgrades. And housing had 33 upgrades and four downgrades. There were 92 state upgrades, but these occurred upon the upgrade of the state of California's general obligation rating in 2015, which affected a large number of appropriation ratings. Despite the large number of ratings attributed to that one rating action, more than 300 different entities in California had bonds upgraded from the start of January 15th to the middle of 2016. From an economic perspective, ratings in California appear to face favorable conditions in the near term. IHS predicts the state's real gross state product to increase 2.4% in 2016 and maintain that pace or slightly higher through 2019. The unemployment rate will remain slightly higher than the national rate at around 5.5% over the next few years and population will continue to grow about 1% each year. For more information, please read our snapshot on California on Ratings Direct. And thank you again for watching.